trust issues. I know you're dealing with a lot right now, and you can't trust that person as far as you can throw them. But a wise man told me, never expect what you didn't inspect. Also, never, ever, ever be surprised at what another living human being does. We're all imperfectly perfect, capable of making mistakes. But today, we're going to tackle this and try to help you overcome your trust issues. So we always try to figure out where do our trust issues come from? They could come from the past, mental or physical abuse. Maybe you didn't have a parent in your life. A lot of times, daddy issues. Daddy said he was going to come pick you up. Daddy said he was going to do that. Didn't follow through. You were scarred. Started struggling with trust. But most of the time, they come in the form of a relationship. It could be friends. It could be business. But nine times out of ten, it's romantic. So what I need you to do today is I need you to figure out where your trust issue comes from. And I need you to confront it. And from this day forward, don't let it control you. Don't let your trust issue control your story. You take your power back and you control the story. You control the narrative. If you find that your trust issue stems from what another person has done to you in the past, you got to forgive them. But not for them. You're forgiven for you. See, I had to overcome mental abuse. And I had to find it in my heart to forgive that person because I knew that's where healing would start for me. And once you forgive that person, that's when healing will start for you. In the same token, a lot of times people have trust issues because they blame themselves for whatever happened. Mental, physical, sexual abuse. Some reason we, 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 we want to blame ourselves. Never take the blame for what another person did to you. Because that's what leaves you scarred. It's not your fault. But I know a lot of times we carry that baggage and it makes us scared to get involved in any type of relationship or, or scared to trust in a relationship. Remember, each and every one of our lives comes with its own set of built-in problems. So today is the day that you overcome that fear. You overcome those trust issues. Because remember, look at it like this. When you first learn how to ride a bike, you fell down one time, you fell down two times, three times, four times, five times, six times. But it didn't stop you from getting back up and continuing to try to learn how to ride that bike. And once you finally figured it out, you were overjoyed. You were happy. And guess what? Even when you got good at riding that bike, every now and again you still would fall. But you got back up and rode again. And that's how you have to treat each relationship. Each relationship is its own separate entity. No two are alike. So when you get involved with the next person, you cannot carry the baggage from what happened to you in the past and put it on that person because that's not fair. All you can do is save a piece of your heart for yourself and control what you can control. Stop trying to figure out what that person is doing when they're not with you. Stop trying to figure out what's going on in that person's head because that is impossible and it will drive you crazy if you keep trying to do that. You also got to self-assess. And if you're naturally jealous and you come into a relationship trying to check somebody's phone and, and looking around crazy every time they phone ring or, or, or talking crazy to them when they come home late or something like that, you're setting yourself up for your relationship to always be toxic every time. You have to train your brain to not always think the worst. Remember, what's done in the dark always comes to light. The universe will take care of you. And I'm not saying being silly and getting with somebody that's showing you all these signs that they're no good. You have to be smarter than that. But in the same token, when you're in the relationship, you got to remember you tell your brain how to react. So if your significant other is a little late getting home, if you keep thinking over and over in your brain that they're cheating on you, when they get to the house, you're going to respond accordingly. and It's not going to be good. But if you tell yourself that you trust them, and when they come home a little bit late, everything is going to stay peaceful. So you have to check yourself because sometimes you are the problem. So it's the way that you're thinking. I like what Trent Shelton says. 
He says you have to protect your peace. And I know for me, when something negative comes into my brain, I immediately cut it off by saying something out loud. Nope, can't think like that. You have to do the same thing. Sometimes to remove a negative inner thought, it requires a positive, powerful outer thought. And that just means you have to say something out loud. Nope, I'm not going to think he's cheating on me. Nope, I'm not going to think she's cheating on me. You really do have that kind of power. But if you're in a relationship and you find out that a person is cheating on you, or maybe both of you guys have been cheating, and you say to yourself, you sit down and have that heart to heart, and you decide you want to work it out. Because I know that happens. I want to tell you right now, hard for that to happen because the relationships are based on trust and it's a slim to none chance that it actually will work but for those situations where it does you have to actually start from scratch mentally you can never bring up whatever happened in the past you cannot be checking phones you have to completely start all over that's why it's so hard to do but if you want to make it work the past can never come back up you have to start brand new it's possible, very, very difficult, but it is possible. So today, I want you to attack your trust issues head on and use this video to help you overcome any aspect, any problem that you're facing as it relates to trusting another human being. And once you do that, you find that inner peace, you find that stress relief, and ultimately, you find yourself climbing over that hump and making every day of your life a Wednesday. And this is a great day to win. Let's go.